Hi there. It's been a while since I posted the last crystal radio video. So today I want to share with you something I tried. Um, if you remember, I had this double tuned FM crystal radio that I made using the MOS FET called 3DQ or 3SK143-Q. So in the past, I was using two different variable capacitor made of copper and get the best quality FM crystal radio so far. Uh, this time I'm going to use a less high quality variable capacitor that has two gain or dual gain with two different variable capacitors driven by the same central pole. So this type of variable capacitor is made of plastic and commonly used in a lot of the pocket radios. So the variable capacitance can be from uh, around 5 PF to around 30 PF. And to cope with this uh, higher variable capacitance, we need to make a smaller coil. So this coil that I'm holding now has around four turns and wound on a, an AAA or 3A cell. So it's quite small. And because we need two coils aligning in parallel to each other, so we'll just wind the two coils together like this. And then we can solder it onto the PVC variable capacitor. The middle pin of that variable capacitor is the ground pole for the circuit. So we just solder the, that to the middle of the coil, linking the two coils together. And then from each of the coil, the hot point from each of the coil will just hook up to the other port on the two sides. So we have one uh, tuning wheel controlling two variable capacitors. And then we can adjust the small capacitor on top of that uh, plastic VC to sync up the frequency of the two different resonance circuits. So we have the trial and error. You just tune it to match the station you want to listen to instead of two stations uh, that are different. Uh, it's not that hard to tune if you've got a very good uh, antenna. The antenna I was using is the YRG antenna, the self-made one. So you, you should have seen those diagrams in my previous videos. Um, I live around 5 km away from the FM transmission station. So luckily I can receive quite, quite good FM signals uh, using the crystal radio. But if you are living uh, far, far away, then you can make one and bring it closer to the transmission station, drive there and try to test it with a telescopic antenna. This way you can enjoy this amazing crystal radio for your FM stations. So in the past, people have been testing crystal radio, enjoying broadcast range, the, the AM range or medium wave range. But now with this uh, new setup, you can enjoy and test the FM crystal radio too. Because many countries have already shut down the, the medium wave broadcast radio, like in Singapore. In Singapore, they have stopped all the medium wave radio stations. You can only listen to FM radio in Singapore. So if you're in Singapore, try to make one of these crystal radio, then you can still listen to it without battery. That's the amazing thing of our crystal radio. You can always listen without battery. So I've talked enough, so let's hear the testing. Uh, I've recorded it using a special cable that I plugged in directly to the iPhone's microphone jack. And the cable has a step up, um, no sorry, not step up, step down transformer. So I, I can match the impedance of the MOS FET output, which is around 2.5 kilo ohm. 
to that of the iPhone. I think it's around a uh, hundred ohm or sixty-four ohm like that. So uh, this record quite good sound quality. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and send to your friends to subscribe too. Thank you.